You are looking at a police chase. This is on the I-10 near Sacatone, and it looks like it's coming to a stop uh, unless oh. I, th I think we lost our shot there. But um, oh, there we go. It's still going, obviously. And, I was just uh, in the newsroom when they were trying to get some updates, and you could hear uh, over the scanners that I guess one of the they've been doing they did some sort of a, a, an effort to stop them. So maybe it was stop stick. So they lost one tire is at least blown out and they're still traveling at a fairly estimated at least over 70 miles an hour. They, I mean, they do not want to pull over. You can see the cop car trying to get in front of the car to slow it up with the other ones coming up beside it. And they had it almost stop for a moment and then the guy took off again. So uh, did you hear what the chase was did about? Did not hear what started this. If this is a, a person that they maybe were, were pursuing for a reason, uh, intending to arrest them uh, for some other cause, or if this is something that just started as a as a traffic situation. Um, but uh, out there, you know, I, I don't know. Well, it looks like the traffic's cleared out for the most part. It's headed uh, northbound. Sometimes they do a pit maneuver. I don't know if they do it going that mm -hmm. fast. Yeah, that could um, be really risky. Yeah. So the good news is you're not uh, it doesn't look like at least encountering other traffic, at least not in the images that we're seeing right now. Obviously, it's, these pursuits can be really dangerous, and that's why um, in plenty of situations is policy for uh, a, a, a local law enforcement agency to just pull back and say we're not going to pursue. It's always kind of surprising, even during a lot of chases in L.A. when the freeways are always oh, crowded. During the chases, they're not. I, I never get that. Yeah, but I, I don't know if traffic just gets out of the way, but. Looks like uh, that car is uh, starting to pull away again. And uh, Gina is standing by as well. Uh, Gina, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, so Sacatone is going to be just a little bit south of the Ahwatukee area. You're probably looking at about 20 miles from the 202. Uh, and so maybe halfway between, whoa, whoa. There we go. Day. It's going to get a lot more crowded as they get closer to the valley, right, Gina? Yeah, 100%. You know, thankfully, yeah. we're in a time of the year where the traffic is relatively light. And, but this oh, is the, the look part, at this. yeah, this is the part of the I-10 where it narrows down to two lanes, you know, oh darn. Uh, between um, between uh, Casa Grande and Tucson, the freeway is three lanes in each direction, but between Casa Grande and the valley, Look it's, at that passing into the right wow, of the side. Wow, that is so yeah. scary. Whoa. Two lanes, absolutely. Boy, they do not want to pull over for So what's reason. interesting, guys, they're coming up real close here to the 347. Uh, oh my gosh. Well, he's look, gonna lose control. There he goes. Look at that. Into the oh ditch boy. and rolled oh, over. Oh, you knew you saw that coming. And Unbelievable. Rolled. So that was actually that vehicle uh, hitting the uh, the trooper vehicle, right? Rather than the um, law enforcement vehicle performing a pit maneuver. And so we'll, what will be interesting to see is how injured the people are inside if they fight, and obviously the officers the trying to take a defensive stance there protecting you, of course, themselves yeah. uh, behind their vehicles. Sometimes they get out running and it didn't look like they did unless uh, we couldn't see it there, but uh, we'll see if they're hurt. Yeah, and, and get some clarity as to what started all of this as well. So um, the chopper signal is up again. Let's see if we can um, maybe get some information as to where this actually ended. So from from what I can tell, guys, it's going to be a little bit south of the 347. The 347 is the roadway that people use to get to and from Maricopa. Uh, and so it's just before we really run into a major area for traffic. So obviously they're still in the car. The officers are all taking a defensive approach uh, by, behind their vehicles with guns drawn. And so they'll do what they can to get oh, them and, out and of the vehicle. and somebody coming out of the vehicle oh, right out. there guys out so it looks like it's a little tiny suv so yeah. one of the passengers or the driver at least is from on the, the ground yeah from the passenger side yeah. so curious to oh, see from the passenger the side, side. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. The passenger side okay there's somebody opening the back door as well Should mention if you guys are, uh, if anybody's uh, just waking up with us, uh, this is the I-10. This is going to be a little bit south of the Ahwatukee area, south of the 347. If you're familiar with that area, the 347 is the roadway that a lot of people use uh, to get to and from Maricopa and into the valley. So it, it is just before we really run into an area in the valley where we see a lot of traffic. Yeah, sometimes these are, uh, you know, people have drugs in their cars. Maybe they're uh, bringing people, uh, you know, from Mexico up here. You just never know why people don't want to pull over, but. 
Yeah, or we don't know if they were, if if this was um, an operation to to arrest a particular person, and, and then they figured it out and took off. Um, but it didn't. We didn't see anybody else get out of that vehicle, right? Yeah, somebody I think crawled out of the back side. Yeah, that's so. from the back. Okay. That so, person's from the back seat. Yeah, so there's two people there. But we never saw anybody get out from the driver's no. side. No. The other thing interesting to note is, do you see how we've got two different color uniforms? So the tan uniforms are going to be troopers, and then the dark uniforms, I'm not sure if that's Casa Grande PD. Is that Border Patrol? Uh, you know, we'll, I'm sure, learn the details as to how this all started and who it started with, you know, in the hours